Like in the 1950s, all of Canada's civil service was male. Uh, homosexuals existed because of the normative view of what a man should be or do, and they had to be quiet about it. Because they had to be quiet about it, the government considered them a security threat. Because Cold War communists could hypothetically find out about them and threaten to out them unless they released like secret documents. Right? Like I don't know if Canada had secret documents. How to win it curly. But to avoid them leaking, the RCMP formed special section A3 for subbranch of the RCMP security panel with the goal of finding and firing every homosexual in the RCMP, military, and civil service. Which is impossible, right? Because the civil service is divided into multiple dozens of different departments, commissions, councils, corporations, containing countless directorates, overseen by director generals, overseen by assistant deputy ministers, overseen by deputy, deputy ministers, overseen by ministers, overseen by the prime minister, all in the alley year depending between 500,000 to a quarter of a million, that's roughly 5 to 12 hockey arenas full of people who aren't actually in hockey arenas, but spread across 8,000 kilometers of mostly barren land, like Saskatchewan, wow, a grain elevator. <laughs> you have to study so closely as to discover whether they're having like illegal sex. You can't just ask them this, like, are you having illegal sex? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, are you gay? No. Are you straight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How straight? What? Just a bit straight? What? Just a bit gay? No. Are you sure you're not gay? Yeah. Are you sure you're sure you're not gay? Yeah. Are you not sure you're sure you're not gay? No, so you're not sure. I'm not not sure. Then what? Then I'm gay. You're gay. <laughs> Special section A3 subjects of the RCMP security panel had to find these people. They started small, following like known homosexuals around the city of Ottawa. If the Ottawanian homosexual went to a grocery store or a cafe or a bakery, it was labeled with a little red dot on a map as a homosexual grocery or cafe or bakery. And any civil servant spotted in this grocery, cafe, or bakery was investigated. Soon there were little red dots on every grocery, cafe, and bakery in the entire map. <laughs> Seemed there was no more homosexuals didn't go. There was gay coffee and gay baked goods everywhere. <laughs> People were putting, like, the RCMP was like putting red dots on top of red dots on top of red dots until they realized they had to get smaller red dots or a bigger map. <laughs> so they went out to a souvenir store and they bought the biggest map of Ottawa ever printed in the English language. Mm -hmm. And they started again, homosexual after homosexual after homosexual, to a grocery store, cafe, bakery, on and on and on, until this map, too, was completely red. And they had to send a specially trained Mountie over to the Department of National Defense with a request for the Air Force to fly over the city and take a picture with a high-resolution camera so they could blow that up and make an even bigger map. <laughs> The Department of National Defense was like, that's dumb. <laughs>